Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Rano and welcome back to Nintendo News. I actually do have a little bit here to go over. It's still not going to be a super lengthy episode because we are still kind of in that news drought from Nintendo right now. We're really hoping for something but we do still have a little bit so we're gonna go over that i don't waste any more of your time let's just go ahead and get started all right so the first thing we got is mario day march 10th as we all know is a day where nintendo likes to celebrate mario when they usually announce a couple things every year at least in recent years they have for mario day where march 10th looks like mario it's got a fun little thing. We did get some pretty good announcements this year for our Mario Day. We got some release dates that we have been patiently anticipating, like Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake coming to the Switch on May 23rd. And I do want to take a second to quickly address this because I know some of you guys might be wondering or might have wondered what will happen to the Paper Mario Let's play. So as of right now, I have two more episodes left to upload that were recorded on the original GameCube version of the game. And these two are gonna be the next episodes that are going up in April and May respectively. After which I will be making the transition to the Nintendo Switch version of the game. So starting in June, we will be getting full HD remastered, remade Paper Mario episodes starting from chapter two and obviously i think it goes without saying i will not be re-recording everything leading up to the point that we're at now in the current paper mario playthrough i'll just be making a seamless transition from one version of the game to another so again look out for that switch in june and speaking of things coming in june luigi's mansion 2 hd is gonna drop on june 27th what a Bro, I'm nice with the transitions. And we also have a couple more Game Boy games coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service. Dr. Mario, Mario Golf, and Mario Tennis are actually already all out. They came out on March 12th on the Nintendo Switch Online Game Boy app. And the last main announcement from Mario Day was that there will be a new Super Mario Bros. movie coming in 2026 from Illumination, a sequel to the previous Mario Bros. movie we just got last year, and I'm really excited for this. I personally really enjoyed the first film. I went as far as to buy it on DVD when it became available, and I absolutely can't wait for the release of this new upcoming film coming out April 3rd, 2026. So get ready for that. All right, next up, I'm just gonna quickly go over this and show you guys some screenshots. There is an Overwatch and Cowboy Bebop collab. Now, I have not played Overwatch in a while, so I don't know if this was a timed event similar to the One Punch Man one they did a couple whiles ago. But if this is still active, if it is never going to be inactive, and if you're a fan of Cowboy Bebop, you might want to go and uh, cash in on some of these skins. So they do actually look pretty cool. Contra Operation Galuga launched on March 12th. Classic remake of the original Contra game. And it looks really fun, so I'm gonna go check it out. All right, so we actually have two new Splatoon 3 songs from <laughs> Off The Hook, a new rendition of Color Pulse from Splatoon 2, and a new song called We're So Back. I think that title is incredible. I'll leave links to both of those in the description below so you guys can go check them out. We actually have a third song that I forgot to mention there because it came out a couple days after it's called Suffer No Fools, and it looks like it's a collab kind of between Off The Hook and Deep Cut, or like they're going kind of back and forth. This one looks really interesting, I haven't gotten a chance to listen to it yet, but just like with the last two, links will be in the description below. Nintendo actually put out a new Smash Bros event to celebrate Princess Peach Showtime and Super Mario Bros Wonder, They're adding some new spirits to the game starting on March 22nd to coincide with the release of Princess Peach Showtime, which did indeed launch on March 22nd. So if you haven't checked that game out yet or the new spirits added to Smash Bros, definitely go check those out if it's something that might interest you. And next up we have F-Zero Maximum Velocity getting added to the Game Boy Advance catalog of Nintendo Switch Online games. So if you're an F-Zero fan, this one is definitely for you. And I think that actually is the end of all of the news for March. So we had a couple big headlines, but nothing really too major overall. Again, that's been the theme. I've been talking about this the last couple episodes. And so I guess now we're just back to waiting for more Nintendo news to come throughout the month of April. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't 
think we have much, if anything, lined up really for the month of April in terms of new games getting released, new DLCs, or really anything like that. I would love to be proven wrong on that aspect because I am dying for some new Nintendo news. Like, we've been speculating about the next console for a couple months now. They already didn't do a Direct in February or March. Are we thinking it's gonna be April or are they gonna wait to push it back to even past Luigi's Mansion getting launched? It's really hard to say, but I think Luigi's Mansion might be the latest Nintendo Switch game that we have lined up for now. Again, Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But if that's true, we could see the new console getting announced around the summertime. Hopefully aiming for a holiday 2024 release. Or maybe even early spring 2025. But there were also some reports about the next Mario Kart game that came out a couple months ago saying that it was going to come out in 2025, which would be the new console's second year on the market, which is kind of conflicting with what we already know or rather what we don't know because we know nothing about this console but hopefully we get some new information on that soon hopefully we get any information on that soon but that's where i'm going to stop myself i can already feel myself starting to get onto a tangent so i'm going to cut myself off there i don't want to waste too much of your time but with that being said and with that all out of the way Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment tell me if there's anything that I missed or that I got wrong. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.